Hello fellow gunners, Tim here in the reloading room. <laughs> I uh, want to talk today about the uh, little 722 I got. Now you know in my videos when I'm trying to shoot a load, I say it gets hot and uh, it's not getting, it's getting the words not accurate anymore and I got some comments on the on the last one. About try this, try that. It, it's probably because your stock's touching and all that. And tell you the truth, guys, when I got this gun, there's a little bit of history about it that I don't want to get into. But anyway, it it just was a gun passed down, and I just didn't really care. You know, I didn't pick the gun out. I just ended up with it. So, you know, I used it sometimes to hunt. And, well, it's actually my hunting rifle. I really didn't want it to be, but it, it ended up that way. So now, I'm kind of actually getting into the gun. Because it, it, it does have a real nice stock. It's the uh, Bishop stock. It's dirty. I haven't cleaned it since I hunted. <laughs> but, uh, so, one of the comments come from Uncle Jim. And he said, try this. It's a temporary solution. It's not meant to, you know, go on and on. Just a temporary thing until I can glass bed it or whatever I need to do to float the barrel. I wish I had shown you what the circumstance was with the stock before I done what he suggested to do. And I didn't, but there was no way I could get anything between the barrel and the stock. Actually, the receiver went so far down into the stock that the bolt release, the bolt release is right here, would not function. You could push on it and it would just stay there because I thought it was just, you know, gummed up and dirty and like I said, haven't wanted to mess with it too much. Now it works like a dream. It just like it's supposed to. Okay, now what Uncle Jim told me to do was take my wife's credit card, cut it up, and put it under the receiver for a temporary bedding. Well, <laughs> not wanting to do that, I had an old gift card that had like 68 cents on it, and you know, you're not going to buy anything for 68 cents, so... I cut it up, made two little quarter inch strips about, well, anywhere would fit between the lug on the barrel, the stock lug, and the uh, ammunition box, the uh, magazine box. And I put them in there, and I tightened it down. And like I said, guys, there was no way I was going to get anything between the stock I'd say a drop of water wouldn't even get in between the stock and the barrel. It was so tight. But look at here. It's just... <laughs> That's hard to do. Anyway, you get the point. There's... The barrel is totally floating. Okay, so... Hopefully, the next time you see me, oh yeah, I'm going to bring that up, uh, hang on a second. So I've told you in my previous videos that I use the Hornady SST bullet to hunt with. Now, I know there's more accurate bullets. The uh, Even the soft lead tip Game Kings from Sierra is quite a bit more accurate. 
But guys, when I hit a deer with this, it is just devastating to the deer. The deer just, they just drop. I have, I've never had to track one since I've started using the SST. They just, they're down. Okay, now on this application, where I've loaded these rounds, here's my overall length. 2.771. I tried that. I, I, I like to keep my bullet out more than normal, so my cantaloupe's actually above the, the neck. But you know what? You guys know you don't really have to go by that. So I'm wanting to try the AR comp. So I went with the, uh, you know, I, I shot it before with the 41 grains. And it was like a tenth of an inch off from the hunting loads that I was shooting regular anyway. But I had three that just went right like that. You know, it wasn't a, like a constant pattern like a shotgun. There was three actually trying to group and two came out of the group. So I'm going to work up uh, some loads. I uh, When I sat down to start this, I don't know why, but I went lower. I went one grain lower than I wanted to. I started with uh, 39.4 and then 39.7 and then went up to 41. Okay, somewhere in my mind that's where, where I needed to be. So I loaded the, the 39.4 and the 39.7 and then I went to, um, let me get my journal here. 40.7, then 41, then 41.3, and then 41.6. So we're going to try them loads. And I didn't load five shots per each. I only loaded three. I figure if I can figure out what's going on in three shot groups. Plus that, I really don't want to overheat the barrel. You know, it's the middle of summer. Probably shouldn't even be trying to work up a load in the summer for fall time hunting, but... This one is gotta get ready for for hunting. Okay, so next time you see me, hopefully I'll be at the range, and we'll just see how this works. That's some down here at the range. I uh, shot three groups already. It's kind of madness down here, so <laughs> I didn't get to film them, but I'm going to film the last three. Now, uh, you know, I told you about bedding this with the temporary bedding. It's, uh, my point of impact's changed quite a bit. It changed about four inches to the right. So, I I think I've adjusted for that. We're going <laughs> we're going to see. Here we go with 41 grains. AR comp.
Here we go with 41.3 grains. The sun shining on you. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. Alright guys, here we go with 41.6. inside of the fourth room. I think I may have just found uh, a new hunting load. 
we'll go back to the bench and review it. Hey guys, I'm back at the bench. So, I don't know. It really wasn't that great a range session. Too much weird stuff going on down there. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting into it. I just want you to know I'm shooting at a public range and things happen. <laughs> Anyway, so out of the six groups I wanted to shoot and put on film, I got three. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the first group of shot. Now you can see there's two bullets right here, almost in the same hole, and then one came out here. I don't know what that is. It could have been me if you noticed, if you've seen... I was kind of fighting with my front bag. I, I'm trying to cut down on the weight that I'm carrying to the range because four sandbags is just heavy. Uh, I guess I need to do something different. Got some ideas. That's the way I've always shot was with four sandbags. And I'm learning I don't have to do all the things I used to do. Believe you me, with with the, me doing the inner... Yeah, the, YouTube channel thing. I'm getting a lot of comments and seeing a lot of things. And I'm, I'm telling you, when I first started reloading, if I'd had YouTube, it'd been a, a very big help. But anyway, okay. So with this group, we're down to uh, inch point 810. Which is not bad for that rifle. I would have to say the uh, the bedding is helping. I really believe it's helping. Uh, and then with with this group, you wouldn't think it would be, but now I think this is when I was fighting the bag. And like I said, there were some things going on at the range. Just you know, if you get irritated and you cannot focus when there's things going on around you that really shouldn't be going on. You cannot focus on what you need to do. And yeah, I know, I know, James, I'm making up excuses. <laughs> okay, but here's the saving grace right here. Got three shots right here. Quarter inch group, or three quarter inch group with the 41.6. So... Seeing that, that's probably what I'm going to go with. The uh, 41.6 grains, the AR comp. I'd say that's going to have a pretty good speed on it. That's probably going to beat the speed that I had on my uh, H4895. Like I said, it's almost empty. And I got a full can of the AR, so comp. So that's a good deal. All right. So I'll be loading. See, I saved back 65 bullets. Something like that. Well, anyway, I'll have enough to load 50 for eh, hunting. <laughs> it ain't going to take 50 to go hunting. It just, you know, I, the way I've got it. But I am impressed with that little group right there. And I'd say the bedding is changed. But like like I said, it's range, man. It changed my point of impact. Shooting uh, probably three inches higher and four inches to the right. More than, than it was. That ain't nothing that we can't solve. So... That's my conclusions, guys. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, 41.6 grains IMR. My 308. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.